Sports. Arkansas had a chance to rebound today. Not a ball off the backboard, but off a brutal loss. Or two of them. Losing one of their best players, Isaiah Joe, to knee surgery. And falling at home in SEC play for the, th the third straight time. But could they get out of their slump today at Missouri? Having this guy sure does help. Mason Jones is breaking Arkansas offensive records lately, and you can see him trying to come alive in the second half. In the final minute of regulation, though, Desi Sills drives and converts tie ball game. But Missouri would push this thing to overtime. It's the second straight game the Hogs go into OT, and it's the same sights as last time. Back and forth at first, but Missouri takes over. Buckets dry up on the other end. Missouri wins 83-79. It's Arkansas's second straight loss. They've lost five of their last... So if they've lost five of their last SEC matches. Let's hear what Eric Musselman had to say. I thought we had really bad shot selection. Uh, I didn't think we shared the ball. We didn't cut hard enough in the first half and uh, turned the ball way too much in the first half, especially second half, played a little bit better with a little bit more flow. Uh, but you're not going to win a game when you put an opponent on the foul line on the road 44 times. In Little Rock and Jonesboro, it was rivalry week. They share the same state, but Little Rock and Arkansas State share no brotherly love. They hit the court today at the Jack, and it was the most packed that place has been all year. Coach Darrell Walker must be doing something right with that whiteboard because his Trojans are sitting pretty atop Sunbelt. Picking up in the second half, Marquise Noel from deep, that's a tray. He led the team with 24 today, but watch out. The Red Wolves are mounting a comeback. Caleb Fields here driving the lane and cutting the deficit to one. Seconds left in the second half. The big man is unfazed. Nicola Marsh, look at him. Ice in his veins. No buzzer beater for Arkansas State at the end of this one. Little Rock will go on to down Arkansas State 90-87. to That's their seventh straight win, and their cushion atop Sunbelt is now three games. As you can see, it's a great day to be a Trojan. His players got the job done, but in the locker room, Coach had to show them how it's done. So today, Coach Walker's thirst for victory is quenched. But his post-game routine wasn't so, wasn't so fluid. Routine, guys. I am. I am. All right, let's do it. Fire away. Will do, Coach. Your star point guard, Marquise Noel, is bowling. As a sophomore, he's won three Sunbelt Player of the Week awards, and he leads the conference in free throw shooting. So, what do you make of his bold move donning this shirt right here? Put that water at, man. I need a water. You can't do it on water. How you guys do it? You know what? We're going to change the routine, guys. I am. I am. All right, let's do it. Fire away. So, Coach, what do you make of Marquise Noel wearing this shirt right here? This shirt that it would draw a lot of eyes to it. This game, I really want to be aggressive, really show that people that I'm really going for the Sunbelt Player of the Year, but I'm still trying to win. But th this shirt makes me play more, more harder. I'm going to keep wearing this shirt until eventually I get the accolade. He's carried us basically the first 12 to 15 games of the season. He carried us. Uh, we had a lot of guys out. Uh, he carried us. Uh, carried us so much, I think I hurt his hamstring. He played so many minutes. So uh, do I think he's a player? Yeah, absolutely I do. We're, we're winning basketball games, and, and Marquise is a big part of that. He sure is, and Little Rock sure is hot. More news and weather after the break.